this quick tutorial I'll be showing you how to download and install Armour 3 Sync. First thing you need to do is go to the download link provided, either in the document or by one of the support members, to download the Armour 3 Sync program. Once you've downloaded that, you just need to run the program. I'm just downloading it now. Yours may download to a different location, mine's downloading directly to my desktop. So now that it's downloaded, I can run the program. Let's go next. Accept. Next. Now this is just selecting where you want it to install, so at the moment it's just installing to my program files, which is fine. Let's go next. There's no folder there, would you like to create it? Yes. Just click next. And then from here, you want to go create a desktop icon, so at least you've got one. Next and install. Shouldn't take long to install. Once you've done that, you just want to launch the program. Yes. Alright. Now, if it doesn't add, ask you to uh, search for your directory, what you want to do is just click on Add on Options, go to the plus, go to your. Let's see. Go to your Armour 3 directory, and once you're there, it should be fine. You can just select over that will add that, just like it has there. Once you've done that, you need to go across to Repositories. I think mine saved all my information, so I'm just going to remove it from this time. So go to Repositories, you want to click the blue plus there. Now the next thing is you want to grab this information, which I'll also have at the bottom of the video, in the link description. Have that there, click Import, which will import it, it'll do everything for you. Just click OK. It'll start connecting to the repository for you. As you can see, it's showing here Live Studio. So just click it so it's highlighted, then go across to this side here and click on Connect to Repository. Once you've done that, now at the moment, what you need to check here before you do anything is default destination folder. See, currently mine is wrong, and what it will do, it will reinstall the entire lot again. So what you need to do is click on this and go down and click on your Armour 3 one. So make sure it definitely has your Armour 3 one selected. If you don't have that, again, go back to Add-on Options, and you can add another directory here. Now back in here, we've got the correct um, directory now, so we click on Check for Add-ons. It's going to quickly check and see if there's any add-ons in the repository, and see if your files are out of date. Let this do its thing. Alright, once it's done that, it should see that A3L is out of date at the moment. Now, you can just um, tick that one, or you can tick all of them, it's not going to hurt it to be honest, so I just tick all of them. Once you've done that, you can also see your total files to update in red 6, so it can see that my files are out of date. So what you do is just click the uh, black play button now. It'll download the updates and add them to yours to make sure yours is up to date. As you can see here, it's downloading the update now. Depending on how big the actual update is, it shouldn't take too long. This is a very small update. Alright, done. If you get any errors during that time, just click no, and what you can do is just wait for this to catch back up again. The program may go like this, that's fine, just let it do its thing and catch back up. So now it's rechecked for add-ons again, finished, and it says total files to update zero. Just to confirm if you really are unsure, you can go back out again, click on it, connect to repository, Just do check for add-ons one more time. Again, always make sure that it's in the default uh, destination files definitely pointing to Armour 3. Voila, all files are up to date. Now you can play your game. Enjoy.